Hello, scientists and writers. We've been using our writing skills to record the ways plants survive in their habitats. We looked at plant adaptations in the rainforest, and we looked at plant adaptations in the Arctic. Today, we have another habitat to investigate, the desert. What adaptations do plants need to survive in the desert? Come on, scientists, we know what habitats what a habitat is. A habitat is the natural environment where things live. And we know what adaptations are too. An adaptation is a part of a living thing that helps it survive in their habitat. All living things need to be able to survive in the place where they live. Plants need sunlight, water, and nutrients, no matter what their habitat is like. Today we'll explore the desert. The desert habitat is really different from the other habitats we've studied so far. Let's watch a video. As you watch, notice how desert plants survive. What adaptations do desert plants have? Those are really long needles. No, not those kind of needles. The cactus needles are sharp points that protect the plant. Yes, a cactus is a plant. It grows in a desert habitat. What is a desert like? It's so sunny here. The climate is really hot. And look at the soil. It's dry and cracked. You're right, Moby. The plants and animals that live here must have ways to meet their needs. How do plants survive in the desert? Be careful. These leaves are actually long, thin spikes. This is not a good tree to climb. Hmm. I bet these spikes help the tree to survive. Well. Plants use their leaves to get sunlight, and leaves can grow pretty big. But the desert is really sunny, so this tree has long, thin leaves so it doesn't get too much sun. I guess desert plants have special ways to survive in their habitat. Moby. This tree has shallow roots that can soak up the littlest bit of rain that falls. And then it has really deep roots that can store extra water when there isn't any rain. You're right, Moby. That cactus does have a thick stem. It could store water in there. And the sharp needles keep animals from stealing its water. All right. So... If you need to watch that again, rewind a little bit and watch that video again. There was a lot of information about the desert and what the plants do. Once you've got some ideas about plant adaptations, go down to the chart and fill it out, desert plant adaptations. Let's see, what was one of the things? Hmm, oh, I know. Yeah, desert plants have very skinny leaves. How it helps. The sun is so strong, the skinny leaves get just enough sunlight without burning up like bigger leaves would. Yeah, big leaves would not work in the desert. They would just crinkle up from too much sun. All right, so now you have some spaces here to write some more adaptations of desert plants and how they help. When you're done, remember to submit this to your teacher. Talk to you tomorrow.